Welcome back to my channel. Today we discuss about cloud computing. Cloud computing. Cloud computing is the on-demand availability of computer system resources, especially data storage and computing power, without direct active management by the user. Large clouds often have functions distributed over multiple locations, each of which is a data center. What is cloud computing in simple terms? Simply put, cloud computing is the delivery of computing services including servers, storage, databases, networking, software, analytics, and intelligence over the internet the cloud to offer. Faster innovation, flexible resources, and economy soft scale. What are the four types of cloud computing? There are four main types of cloud computing private clouds, public clouds, hybrid clouds, and multi-clouds. There are also three main types of cloud computing services, infrastructure as a service is, platforms as a service pods, and software as a service sells. What cloud computing actually do? Cloud computing works by having companies host or maintain massive data centers that provide the security storage capacity and computing power too. Support cloud infrastructure. Clients pay for their rights to use their clouds along with an ecosystem to communicate between devices and programs. How do you explain cloud computing to a child? Cloud computing means miles and miles of information. Like the biggest library in the world, all stored in space instead of your computer and you can look at that information from a computer or phone wherever you are in the world. How does the cloud work for dummies? Cloud storage uses remote servers to save data, such as files, business data, videos, or images. Users upload data to servers via an internet connection, where it is saved on a virtual machine on a physical server. What is an example of cloud computing? Today, there are several examples of cloud computing applications used by both businesses and individuals. One type of cloud service would be streaming platforms for audio or video, where the actual media files are stored remotely. Another would be data storage platforms like Google Drive, Dropbox, OneDrive, or Box. What are advantages of cloud computing? The top 10 benefits of cloud computing asterisk accessibility anywhere, with any device. Asterisk ability to get rid of most or all hardware and software. Asterisk centralized data security. Asterisk higher performance and availability. Asterisk quick application deployment. Asterisk instant business insights. Asterisk business continuity. Asterisk price performance and cost savings. Why is IT called cloud computing? Cloud computing is a term used to describe the use of technology that allows users to access information and applications over the internet. The name comes from the fact that the data gets stored on servers in the cloud. What are the risks of cloud computing? Lack of visibility, shifting operations, assets, and workloads to the cloud means transferring their responsibility of managing certain systems and policies to a contracted cloud service provider CSP. Asterisk cloud misconfigurations, asterisk data loss, asterisk accidental data exposure, asterisk identity theft, asterisk insecure integration and APIS, asterisk data sovereignty. Who owns the cloud? Cloud storage is a model of computer data storage in which the digital data is stored in logical pools. Said to be on the cloud, the physical storage spans multiple servers, sometimes in multiple locations, and the physical environment is typically owned and managed by a hosting company. What is cloud computing with example for beginners? Data storage and backup applications. Cloud computing allows storage of data in the cloud and access over the internet. Along with backup recovery applications, examples, Google G Suite, Mosey, Box.com, etc. What is an example of cloud computing in real time? 
Examples of cloud computing and messaging platforms also include Emails Since your email information is stored in the cloud, you could access them on any computer. Skype and WhatsApp are also Examples of cloud computing messaging apps with these flexible apps. You could track your messages and contacts anywhere. Is WhatsApp a cloud computing? WhatsApp Cloud API is the cloud. Version of WhatsApp Business API, which allows businesses and developers to build on top of WhatsApp to customize their experiences and respond to customers quickly and easily. It's quick and easy because businesses can get direct approval for WhatsApp Cloud API from Facebook. Zoom Cloud Computing Zoom's cloud-based communication and collaboration platforms incorporate over 40 different Amazon Web Services as offerings, including compute, storage, and encryption solutions. Zoom uses AWS to provide reliable, real-time, video-first communications at scale. How do I set up cloud computing? Seven steps to building a cloud infrastructure. One, select a foundation. Two, determine your delivery infrastructure. Three, sketch the big picture. Four, don't forget security. Five, prepare your network. Six, automate management tasks. Seven, integrate components. What is cloud computing? One word answer. Explanation. Cloud computing means providing services like storage, servers, database, networking, ETC, over the internet without the user managing it directly. Is cloud computing easy for beginners? Learning cloud computing is considered by most Toba challenging skill. This field's inherent. Complexity is one reason it's so difficult to learn. Computing itself is a complicated task. Is Gmail a cloud computing? Google Cloud is a suite of cloud computing services that runs on the same infrastructure that Google uses internally for their own consumer products, such as Google Search, Gmail, and YouTube. What are disadvantages of cloud computing? Disadvantage of cloud computing 1. Data loss or theft point 2. Data leakage. 4. Account or service hijacking.5. Insecure interfaces and APIs. 6. Denial of service attacks. 7. Technology vulnerabilities, especially in shared environments. What is the main use of cloud computing? Organizations of every type, size, and industry are using the cloud for a wide variety of use cases, such as data backup, disaster recovery, email, virtual desktops, software development and testing, big data analytics and customer-facing web applications. Do phones use cloud computing? Alteration of networks. Mobile cloud computing is used in a different operating. System-driven platforms like Apple iOS, Android, and Windows Phone. Do mobile apps use cloud computing? Developers build and update rich mobile. Apps using cloud services and then deploy them for remote access from any device. These cloud-based mobile apps use cloud technology to store and process data so that the app is usable on all types of old and new mobile devices. Can you teach yourself cloud computing? You can learn the principles and put them into practice on your own with the aid of classes like Us Cloud Practitioner Essentials, Introduction to Us Secrets Manager, Big Data Technology Fundamentals, and Ausanalytics Services Overview. How do I start cloud computing for beginners? To learn cloud computing, you should have a basic knowledge of computers, the internet, database, and networking concepts, such basic. Knowledge will help you understand all the basic cloud computing concepts. Can anyone get into cloud computing? Yes. You can definitely become a cloud computing professional even if you belong. From a non-technical background, the thing which matters is your interest and dedication towards that particular technology. Why is IT called cloud computing? Cloud computing is a term used to describe 
The use of technology that allows users to access information and applications over the internet. The name comes from the fact that the data gets stored on servers in the cloud. What is the most important concern of cloud computing? Security is the most important concern of cloud computing. Cloud computing underpins a vast number of services. That includes consumer service like Gmail or the cloud backup of the photos in your smartphone. Though to the services that allow large enterprises to host all their data and run all of their applications in the cloud. For example, Netflix relies on cloud computing services to run its its video streaming service and its other business systems. To dot cloud computing is becoming the default option for many apps. Software vendors are increasingly offering their applications as services over the internet, rather than standalone products as they try to switch to a subscription model. However, there are potential downsides cloud computing in that it can also introduce new costs and new risks for companies using it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more informative videos.